Hi there, I'm Jordan Gomez. I'm currently a senior in high school and I am one of the athletic trainer trainees here in our athletic training program, which is a class and you can also stay after school and help with the teams and take the players and all that kind of thing. I'm Talissa Jenkins. I'm also a senior and I'm also part of the athletic training trainee type program. DeSico, the teacher, he makes sure that it's during six hours so we can do all of the waters and get them out for the players. So we have really big Powerade, like 10 gallon buckets and every day we fill them up with ice. I usually do the ice, she usually does the water, put them on the back of his little gator and we drive them out there and just kind of throw them wherever people are practicing. So during sports seasons, it really depends on the sports. Football's a very demanding one just because it's the only sport that we go to home and away games for, for varsity. So um, a normal schedule for that is pretty hectic, honestly, because not only are we going to all their games, we're also taping and doing um, some exercises with them before their practices too, if needed. Um, the football team is also, since it's such a high contact sport, um, they usually do tend to have a lot more injuries, um, as well as mild things like, you know, we have some boys that will sublex, which is when your shoulder slightly dislocates and pops right back in. We'll have boys that'll come in just with problems like that, so we just need to stabilize our shoulder. We have boys come in that have slight strains or slight tears in the, um, in the tissues in their feet. Um, so, you know, we just do a little light taping, and then we just have some boys who just have weak ankles. Um, and, you know, you're doing a lot of pivoting in football, especially if, you know, you're on an offensive team. We have boys who are on the defensive end, you know, that are using their bodies a lot and need heat pads. And, you know, some, some of them even need, like, ultrasound therapy for their tissue and muscle. So we do do a lot of that as well. Um, we're also there on the sidelines. It's pretty great. Um, so for games, we're sitting there on the sidelines right in the action. Um, if someone goes down on the field, usually DeSico goes up first, and then we just kind of follow behind. If it's something serious, we get up, you know, make sure they're all good on the field. The skills that we have learned from this class and the knowledge that we use um, is really applied everywhere. Mm -hmm. Learning the human body, learning the way that it reacts to stress, learning the different components of it so that way I could get an intro to it. I could get hands-on experience with it. For anybody who would be looking to do it, I would say that it is just a great learning opportunity. Not just for like the body and like even if you're not into the anatomy and the really medical side of it, you can get a lot out of this. Like I have grown so many friendships with the players that I would not have gotten before because you know they're they're athletes. They want to be playing. Their focus is that and being a part of their world gives you an avenue to form relationships with these people that maybe you wouldn't have gotten before. And on top of that, you get to meet a lot of experienced adults who know what they're talking about and have a great amount of knowledge that even if you're not looking to go into this field, you're gonna wanna sit there and listen to all their stories. And it, I think it just be something that 